sons and daughters of God, daily devotional by Ellen G. White. True missionary effort begins in the home. September 2nd. Labors together with God in the home. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. Luke chapter 1 verse 6. In forming a relationship of Christ, the renewed man is but coming back to his appointed relationship with God. His first duty is to his children and his nearest relatives. Nothing can excuse him from neglecting the inner circle for the larger circle outside. In the final, <coughs> in the day of final reckoning, fathers and mothers will be asked what they did and said to secure the salvation of the souls they took upon themselves the responsibility to bring into the world. Did they neglect their lambs, leaving them to the care of strangers? A great good done for others will not cancel the debt you owe to God to care for your children. The spiritual welfare of your family comes first. In rightly training and molding the minds of her children, mothers are entrusted with the greatest mission ever given to mortals. Whenever you take up the duty that lies next to you, then God will bless you and hear your prayers. There are too many doing outside missionary work while their own households are left destitute of such efforts, going to ruin through neglect. The first missionary work is to see that love, light and joy comes into the home circle. Let us not be looking for some great temperance or missionary work to do until we have first done the duties at home. Every morning we should think, what kind act can I do today? What tender words can I speak? Kind words at home are blessed sunshine. The husband needs it. The wife needs them. The children needs them. It ought to be the desire of every heart to make as much heaven below as possible. A soul saved in your own family circle or in your neighborhood by your patient painstaking labor will bring as much honor to the name of Christ and will shine as brightly in your crown as if you had found that soul in China or India. This is your daily devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Please also check the YouTube comments for any further study notes. Sons and Daughters of God